Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I thought I'd talk just for a moment about the state of the law of karma right now. It seems that on the astral plane for a long time now, we've had some beings, could be the beings I talked about just now, who are um, enforcing, let's say, or overseeing the law of karma uh, on Earth. Now, what does this really mean? There is a learning process that was in place to teach us souls um, higher wisdom through the experience of polarity. And these beings, uh, they saw to, uh, through an Archangel Michael fractal that they look up to, they, um, they oversaw the disposition of souls after a physical death, where they should be located or relocated on the astral plane because of their current state of density, which had to do with the experiences that these souls had had on Earth through various incarnations. So uh, they call themselves the Lords of Karma. And sometimes they would work through human beings, what I call the 49 percenters, and that is the human beings who had great light because of their service as light workers and way showers and pathfinders in many incarnations on earth and who had acquired uh, through their service um, uh, distortions of light uh, that, that uh, w limited them slightly towards the dark, ever so slightly towards the dark. So uh, they could still function in the physical reality uh, with 49% light and 51% dark. But this extra 1% allowed uh, these beings, these, these beings of th uh, orange or third chakra density or um, third eye point strength and lack of, lack of heart energy, to to sort of settle into their soul fields through the in the places where wounding existed and and if they could appeal enough to their mental minds they could uh, kind of rule the show for a while in in some incarnations now this does not mean that these these beautiful light worker souls are taken over by the dark uh, or by these entities what it means is that the flavor of their souls was just sufficiently distorted, just a tiny bit more distorted than most 50-50 most people, um, to where it was possible for, for these other entities to somehow influence their decision-making processes. So here on Earth, uh, at this moment in time, there are, are souls with an incredible history of, of service to humanity that are swayed by these um, mid-astral plane beings of control. And, and so, in a sort of a teamwork fashion, now there's no real allegiance there because the lords of karma on the astral plane, they move from soul to soul in the physical state. They don't necessarily, souls don't, human beings do not belong to them, okay? If they move around and so, and, and influence this person or that person depending on opportunity, <laughs> as I'm sure everyone knows. <laughs> so, so, in the, and so they may convince these these 49ers to uh, that they themselves are because they are uh, fallen momentarily under their influence that, that they themselves are the lords of karma and that they have many allies on the astral plane that are also the lords of karma this is a simple misunderstanding of our role as human beings so i will proceed back to the astral plane and talk about the work of the lords of karma there okay um for them, karma is pretty darned important. <laughs> because without it, they wouldn't have... I mean, that is their job description. 
okay? They are teaching souls, okay? But they are also engaging in the wounding of souls, okay? So their teaching of souls is, uh, runs counter to their, their intention of wounding of souls, okay? So, so at some point souls need to turn to the light and call on God and call on the angelic realm to help them out because, because these beings that are um, concerned with the order of, of the density, really, are, are just half of the show just the ha one half of the learning process. When the shift occurred in 2012, karma ended in the world, okay? But there are still beings, human beings, uh, incarnate on earth who are accumulating karma even though all of the old un karma is unraveling now, all of the incarnational karma is unraveling. Uh, so just these souls need to stop acting out in physical form and it will all all that will go away and clarify and the lords of karma the job that they had to do here on earth will have ceased and so karma is not like a job in itself it was one small part of the learning process of our our soul magnificence uh, it was the learning of to 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 step forward with the energy of the heart. It was the was the learning of it's like when little children are playing in the sandbox, right? Two years old, right? And they want a particular toy. One child wants a particular toy. And so he sees another child with a toy, right? And and he doesn't understand, this child does not understand that the other child is a separate person with, who can be hurt and that he, he himself suffers when the other child is, is injured. So what does he do? He takes the toy from the other child and maybe even throws a little sand at him or smacks him or something. Then the mom comes along, the mom comes along and says, this is not the right way to play, you know. You need to be kind to that other person over there. And, and I will say, usually it doesn't go over very well at first. <laughs> it's a sulky situation. <laughs> and a hard learning process. And many people don't learn that at the, in the kindergarten stage. They don't, they don't learn that. They have to learn that through many incarnations and like that. So now's the time. The time for all souls on earth to be picking up on the empathic uh, the, the, their oneness with the all and like that. And so the job of karma is ending and uh, the job of punishment is ending. The law of love is being established everywhere on earth. The presence of Christ consciousness is ours to experience each and, for each and every one of us. And I don't know what to say about the lords of karma that I do leave it in God's hands. God will know what to do. God takes care of every being and every soul, which is in fact just a manifestation of God's love. So, so don't hang on to your karma, I say. Let's let all that go. <laughs> Let's not worry about heaven and hell. Let's just relate to Christ and the Buddha and all the, the great energy that's here on earth today. Huh?